JP California from a bright and chilly day in Southern California it is nice it is bright the Sun has finally come out it's almost one o'clock it has been brutally cold here in Southern California and by brutally I don't mean 20 degrees I don't mean 10 degrees I mean high 30s to mid 40s mid 50s you know it's been brutally cold for us so you know gotta grow this beard out all my toronto boys will be very um unhappy with my video but it is what it is let's get into the good the bad and the ugly you guys know the deal please before we do like and subscribe say hi to my dog who has to wear a cone because he can't stop chewing himself until we can get him into the vet all the above guys villa tied everton 0-0 after about 97 games in the epl unai emery's entirety he went and tied a game 0-0 his first one in the epl Let's get after the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good. The good is that Villa did not concede a goal. Clean sheet. Clean sheets. Everybody love good, clean sheets. You get in, you know your sheets are clean, you jump through the shower, you get in nice and cozy and all the above. And the clean sheet does make me feel good, and I'm sure it makes Emmy Martinez feel good because he made a stellar stay, save against Donovan Calvin Lewert, however you say his crazy name. What a save that was. That is just textbook on why he is the best in the EPL. Uh, Martinez doing well. And, and granted, that's one of two good saves he had made. That one was an amazing save. Um, he had another save that was, you know, it was a good save, but nothing spectacular. And otherwise, he was pretty um, untouched all game. He did get a foot-in challenge on a soft back pass. 50-50, one of the Everton guys slides in. It looks like Martinez got a nice uh, kick to the chest for that one. I actually thought it wasn't as clean as it looked on, on TV. Um, but you know what? A, a clean sheet is really helpful for Villa Villa. We need a clean sheet. We need to stop teams from scoring against us. Um, it kind of offset the, the early goals that we've been giving up. So that is definitely a positive. So Villa, good on you. And that is the good was a clean sheet, no goals conceded. That's what Villa need. The bad is... Villa's form. Now, I've been saying this for a week or so to my friends, that Villa have not looked the same since Arsenal. At Arsenal, we had a swagger where we knew we weren't going to give up the goal, and we attacked with some potency. Against Man City, we were unstoppable. I, I honestly believe we believe on that day, if we played like that against anybody, we would beat anybody in the world. Um, but we haven't looked like that in a month now. We seem to be getting by in games with C performances. Not top level performances, not even the level be below top level. We seem to be doing okay, just playing okay. And um, today I felt like it was another performance where we played okay. And we played a team that was physical and aggressive and kind of was okay with the tie and sat deep a little bit and just couldn't let us play really well. They stop play every chance they get. They drew fouls like crazy. And so for me, the form that we had, you know, if we're only playing at 75%, we're not going to win some of these games. And we won't be getting top four, that's for sure. Because I think this game was there to be had for Villa. And if Villa was in B or A mode, we first or so, if we were in second or third gear, we would have been fine. But it never even really looked like we got out of first gear. Um, we definitely lacked some creativity. We definitely lacked accuracy on our crosses. Um, you know, we did put the ball in the net once for it to be chalked up. I don't know. I think in the end it was offsides. Um, but, it, you know, a four-minute VAR. Figure that one out. Um, just just kind of a uh, whatever performance and not a great result for Villa. You know, it's getting to the point where Villa is disappointed about draws, which is amazing that we are there um, fighting for top four currently, you know. And if it wasn't for Man United and Tottenham tying, um, I, I'd be really pissed if, if Tottenham won because that would have put them level with us. Um, so for them to get the tie only kind of makes this doable. Um, so there we go. Um, Villa's form is, is not great. It's bad to me. They need to get two or three wins under their belt and get a, a roller coaster going. But the good thing is, is we got the break, so... Throws us off a little bit, gives us more time to, to rest and recoup and, and go again. 
and the ugly. The ugly was today's game. Honestly, I don't know the last time as a Villa fan I was kind of that bored. I, I thought it was just a, a shit game to watch. I wasn't really entertained. Um, in the 95th minute, we're passing around the back constantly. We're not even trying to get it wide to put it in a cross. We're not trying to get shots from distance. We were passing on the back, and I just... That's why I feel kind of somber right now sitting here. I'm not like up in arms. And, hey, it's it's just like, eh. I feel like that was two hours of my life wasted. I could have gone for a ran and walked my dogs earlier, which they got to walk. Don't, don't, don't you worry about them. You know, did work. But, eh. I woke up at 6 a.m. for that game. Eh. Kind of just ugly. Just kind of an ugly start. You know? So, it is what it is. I know, kind of a quicker, good, bad, and ugly today. But sometimes that's what you need. A little quick action to save you the day. Take that any way you want. Anyways, guys, this is JP California signing off from the North End YouTube channel. The good, the bad, the ugly about Everton v. Aston Villa. 0-0 draw on this beautiful cold Sunday. The good for Villa being the, the no goals conceded. The bad being... Um, the form that they are in, the form that Aston Villa has fallen themselves in, and maybe we're just coming back to reality to where we actually are. Um, but it's just disappointing. Um, and the ugly was the game overall. Guys, if you guys liked this content, please like and subscribe. Give me all the comments. You guys tore it up last week in the comments. I see you guys. I see you, Liam. You guys tearing it up for us with the comments. Um, hopefully you guys like this video get after me tell me my backyard needs some work or, or whatever Tell me my wall is boring and I should paint it. I don't know figure it out. Anyways guys peace this is the